started. Um, give it up for me for being here. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. So Ms. Harris actually hyped you guys all the way up, and I'm like, energy, I uh, feed off energy, so if you guys give me good energy, you're asking questions, you're being attentive, this is gonna be like the easiest, greatest Tuesday that you've ever had in your life, all right? So I wanna help you guys get an easy A as well, so I'm gonna help you help you all and, and answer those questions. So my name, my name is Zob Hanfield. Um, the first name you got it, last name is Hanfield, like a hand on a field. Make sure you spell it correctly, H-A-N-D-F-I-E-L-D. -E so go ahead and put that on the first line with my name, Zob Hanfield, Fields. Alright. So it's XAV. First name is XAV. Alright. Second question, occupation. What is my occupation? Alright, I think you guys have already put it on there. Education consultant speaker, the plant-based brother. Perfect, perfect. Alright. Number one. What is my background? Dun dun dun. Alright. So go ahead, you can. We'll fill it in later. I just need to see everybody's eyes really quickly. Everybody's eyes. Appreciate it. I came all the way from Houston, Texas, like a 13 hour drive just to see you guys. I didn't drive, but if I did drive, it would have been 13 hours. All right. It is a long drive. Uh, super long drive. But um, yeah, I'm originally from the greatest place in Florida. Don't debate me, Miami. And um, I, what'd you say? Uh, you already know. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm originally from the greatest place on earth, Miami, Florida, and um, I moved to Houston, Texas about six years ago. So as a entrepreneur, it has been very, very difficult, but it's been beautiful, beautiful at the same time. What is an entrepreneur? That's a businessman. A businessman, all right. So do you have to go to college to be an entrepreneur? No. no. All right. Who are some successful entrepreneurs that didn't necessarily go to college? Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Okay, it's right. Everybody knows Bill Gates. Steve Jobs. Right, right, right. All Elon. those people. Elon Musk. Elon, right? Oh, never mind. I was gonna say something. All right. I actually, yeah, LeBron James. LeBron James. In facts. Big facts. He is definitely an entrepreneur um, in his own right. Um, so yeah, absolutely. So as an entrepreneur, I have done a lot of things. Um, but first thing we're gonna talk about is education consulting. What is an education consultant? An education consultant is someone who literally goes to high schools and talks to students about post-secondary options. So every day, I'm at a different high school, and I'm an extroverted person. What does it mean to be an extrovert? What does that mean? Um, so to get energy from talking to people. Yeah, you get energy from talking to people. Like outgoing, not shy. Outgoing. Wait, can you be an outgoing introvert, though? Yeah. Okay. I'm like, I'm an outgoing introvert, but that's just because I know I have to talk to people in real life. Right. right. Right, you can't stand in a corner. Like a person's 50-50, like half the time they're playing and half the time they're talking. Right, right, right. So they might be like like an ambivert. So you got introvert qualities and extrovert qualities. So as an extrovert, I am someone that loves doing something different every single day. I remember being in high school just thinking like, man, I don't want to be behind a desk. That's not really my personality. I won't really find joy in that. And it's cool that my job, I get to go to a different school every day. I may talk about the same things, but guess what? It's new energy, it's new questions, it's new students. And I think that's been super beneficial. So like, who do you, do you work for someone? Or yes, like, yes, yes. So I work for an education consulting company. They're based out of Colorado, but I live in Houston. So I'm a regional representative. So they have representatives all across the country um, doing the same thing, going into high schools and talking to students about post-secondary options. So I work for this company, um, and it's been cool. This is a job that brought me to Houston. How did I get to Houston? How many of you all have ever thought about leaving Gainesville? Everybody. Okay, okay, hands down, hands down. All right, so when I was around 25 years old, I kind of was going through this mid-20s life crisis. And I was like, man, I'm staying at home with my parents. I have a master's degree and I'm making okay money, but I just felt like there was more to life. Has anybody ever been in the predicament where you're like, man, there has to be more to life than this, right? Right, it's a lot of us. And the fact of the matter is that I understood that at that moment when I was 25 years old, I had to do the necessary work in order for my life to change. So I, got, I, I applied to a PhD program in Washington, D.C. I didn't get accepted, but in that time frame, it was a six-month time frame, I remember it like it was yesterday. 
I was just grinding it out. I was going on interviews and I was applying. I applied to Teach for America and AmeriCorps. Uh, I really wanted those jobs. But, and I just wanted to be in Washington, D.C. because I, I like that area. It's, it's buzzing, it's the nation's capital. And my cousin, my really close cousin was gonna move with me. And I didn't get into the graduate program that I wanted to, but the best thing happened six months later, I moved to Houston, Texas. And why that's so great is because I never thought that I would be out of Florida. And I knew that every great thing that I ever happened, that ever happened to me, excuse me, and that doesn't ha ever happened to you as well, has been when you stepped out of your comfort zone. All right? So I want you guys to kind of like color outside the box from here on out for the rest of your life. You know why? Because comfort zones just keep us comfortable. But the only thing consistent with change, the only consistent thing in life is change. All right? So as an education consultant, I have been in Houston. And how did I choose Houston? It was the craziest thing because I never stepped foot on Houston soil. It's like, man, my boss was just like, you know, I, I, I was in Puerto Rico. Um, anybody ever been to Puerto Rico before? All right, so I was in Puerto Rico for my 25th birthday. I turned on my phone and said, man, we want to offer you the job. We're so excited to have you. We have two openings, one in Chicago, one in Connecticut. I was like, I'm a Florida boy. Like, more specifically, I'm from Miami, South Florida. I do not like the cold weather. I'm not going to Chicago or Connecticut. And my boss at that time, he was nice. Um, and he was like, well, where would you feel most comfortable? And the first thing I said was Texas. It was kind of like automatic, but I had never stepped foot on Texas soil. But I'm very um, self-aware and I, I like to read a lot. So when I was in graduate school in Orlando, I had been hearing that Texas was the place to be for young professionals. And they said that because around 2008, 2009, when the economy was crappy and very, very bad and everybody lost jobs and didn't have jobs, that was one of the few places in the United States that actually was just like recession where? What recession? I mean, it hit them, but it didn't, it, it didn't hit them like it did Floridians and so many other people. And so that's, they said, hey, in the next 10 years, you need to be in Texas. You need to go to Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, Austin. Um, so I ended up moving to Houston because one of my fraternity brothers, he was like, man, I think that you would like Houston better than Dallas. Um, and it's been six years. Um, so I love sharing that story with people, especially Floridians, because I was once in these same seats. I was a high school student in, in Miami, just not really understanding what my purpose is and what my value was and what I was gonna do for the rest of my life. Because I honestly wanted to be a lawyer. Anybody here want to be a lawyer one day? Anybody? <laughs> it's a lot of work. Yeah, of course it's a whole thing. Whatever you do is going to be a lot of work. But the thing is, I want to be a lawyer, guys. If I could be completely honest and transparent with you guys, it's for all the wrong reasons. Like, I wanted to wear Italian suits and Gucci loafers. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> right? I wanted to have an office overlooking the water in Miami. And I wanted my mom to be like, yo, man, that's my son. He's in DC, he's in Houston, he's in, he's wherever, he's you know young, he's successful, he's tall, dark, and handsome. Never mind. <laughs> I wanted my mom, you know, we all want our mom to kind of like talk us up like that. And I wanted that. But then I got to college, I got to Bethune Cookman University, and I realized that um, maybe I should change my major. Because I started off as a political science major. And a word to the wise, if any of y'all want to be attorneys, you literally can major in physical education. Like not even joking. You can major in communications, you can major in business, you can major in biology and be a lawyer. One of my good friends did that. Because what you need to get into law school is the LSAT and good grades and letters of recommendation. So um, if any of you all want to change your mind, you, you can do 